Welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to be sculpting with the layer brush. So let's go ahead and open up Blender and do general. And let's go ahead and save it. We'll do save as, and we can just call it layer. Go ahead and click on your Suzanne and go to your drop down over here. And on their object mode, we could go to matte cap and pick any color you want. I'm gonna do this one because it's my favorite. And let's add a modifier. And you know what it is, it is the multi-resolution. And let's subdivide that a few times, maybe four or five, however much your computer can handle today. And let's swap on over to sculpt mode. And another way, cool way to do it, if you don't wanna always you know, use this little drop down, you can do control tab, control tab. And that will let you get this nice little pie menu of different ways you can sw swap into different modes. And you can even do it really fast, like control tab and then move to the left. Control tab, move to the right. Or control tab, move down. So what I want you to do is make sure you have Suzanne selected. And then I want you to do control tab down real fast. Control tab down. Oh, dang, I didn't do it. So try it. Control tab down. Didn't work. Control tab, control tab down. Yeah, yeah, there it goes. So you can get it to just kind of be a muscle memory where it's like control tab down, control tab right, control tab left and you can easily flip through different modes. So if you like that kind of stuff, there you go. But enough of that, let's go ahead and get to add some layers. So this one's pretty cool. It's different, it's kind of similar to Draw, but it's got some extra little quirky quirks for it. So Draw, you know, it's just gonna let you draw on it, but the layer is gonna do kind of what it looks like. It kind of looks like uh, clay strips, but it's a little different. So what I want you to do is turn up your strength to one, just to kind of really see what's happening here. So what I want you to do is click and drag and just keep, you know, hold that one continuous stroke. So just click and drag and just start sculpting on her head. And notice as you're going over your same stroke, it's not like doubling the stroke and making it twice as, twice as high. It's keeping everything very even and you're almost just making an extra layer on your design here. So that's pretty cool. So say if you just wanted to beef up a certain section of your model, then the layer brush is gonna be your friend. Um, another really cool thing, let's turn on our tools over here. So, but do notice if I, you know, you know, release that stroke and start sculpting again, as I make a new line, all that is gonna stay on the same plane, you know, the same layer. But if I cross back over to my other one, it's actually making it another layer higher, you know? so. Uh, sometimes you want that to happen and sometimes you don't. So what's cool about the layer brush is that you can actually control this with your tools over here. You can, let's just undo everything you've done so far. So just get Suzanne back to normal. And what we can say is set persistent base. So that's essentially just saying, you know, I just want everything to increase 0.4 millimeters. And you can increase if you want to go up, you know, I want to increase it everything around anywhere my, 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 my layer brush touches, I only want it to go up 0.5 millimeters, no matter how many times I go over it. So let's just go ahead and do that. So first, what you wanna do is you have to set the persistent base. So we're saying, hey, Blender, set this initial base. Like, remember this, you know, where everything is right here. And then we can check persistent. So now it will be persistent as we're sculpting here. So, so if we do over here, we come over here and add another layer. Notice as I come you know, from a different point in a different stroke and I interact with my old layer, it's not adding to that layer. It's, you know, it's not getting higher. It's just you know, naturally just blending in. So that way you know everything that I'm adding around this monkey here is all at point five millimeters of height. So say if you wanted to add details around your object, you know for sure that everything is going to be at that same level. So that is a super cool tool and really different, you know, than how the draw uh, brush works. So really just think of the layer as if you want to be very, very strategic in adding, you know, layers of uh, sculptable material to your designs. So I hope that made sense and that uh, you, uh, you know, already thinking of new ideas and ways you can use this, but I think it's really cool how you can kind of keep everything consistent, you know, while you're just building up the layer. So what I want you to do is just really just play around. I want you to try and set your persistent base. Um, you know, make sure you check that box or it won't work. 
And then, you know, just try the different ways that you can add layers and, uh, you know, see what you can come up with or make maybe make like a cool uh, design on Soon Sans head here. So feel free to play around with this brush as long as you'd like. And then we'll go ahead and jump into the next lesson, which is the inflate brush.